Okay, when it comes to getting ready for Christmas, Santa isn't the only one making sure people have something special under their trees. Volunteers, including some of us here at Fox 55 News, took time out this morning to help the Allen County Christmas Bureau as they collect gifts for needy families. Fox 55's Gunnar Tuxera takes us to the makeshift Santa's warehouse where boxes were being driven up for drop-off. The Allen County Christmas Bureau is helping hundreds of families find some holiday joy this season. For the past three days, people have been coming with cars and trucks full of presents for their adopted families. We spoke with one woman who's been adopting a family and bringing gifts for more than two decades. And the fact that you can just give whatever they need and whatever they ask for in their gift list is really neat and they don't know who you are. Fox 55's own Tara Brantley is one of the many people who dropped off gifts Wednesday. She adopts a family with the Allen County Christmas Bureau every year because she understands the importance of the work they do in our community. For this program in particular, these families are not receiving help from any other organization, so it is vital that they get help in some type of way for the holiday season. Jane Serbeck, president of the Allen County Christmas Bureau, saying nearly 350 people signed up this year to receive gifts through the Bureau. While adopted families never get to meet those who give the gifts, they do write letters to the Christmas Bureau expressing their gratitude. They are just so excited they can hardly stand it. I mean, we've received many, many, many letters over the years about they signed up and they put down their wish list and then they got things on their wish list. I think a lot of them are shocked because they don't think they will get that much. Now, organizers tell me they've already collected more than 2,000 boxes, 223 gift cards, and 50 bikes for the adopted families. And that's not including the boxes and gifts you see here behind me, which are still being counted. The grand total will be released tomorrow morning, which we'll have on our website, WFFT.com. In Fort Wayne, Gunnar Tech Sarah, Fox 55 News.